Hello! Today's video is going to be a quicker one. I'm just going to be talking about this cool thing in Roblox Studio called math.random. So let's get into that. Instead of starter character scripts, I'm just going to add a local script and I'm just going to type it RNG, random number generation. And I'm going to do local random number equals math.random. And now you can choose two numbers. So I can do anything from one to 10. So the number is going to be anything from one to 10 whenever the player is added. So if we do print random number, every time my character is added inside of the console, there will be a number. So if I reset, you'll see it's seven. So like, what can you do with that? Well, first, probably the simplest, you can just make something happen if it lands in a random number. So we'll do well, test dot wait three. Actually, I'm just going to do one for tutorial sake. Do and paste that code. And if random number equals, I don't know, 10, then script.parent destroy, which is going to be our character. Oops, I'm still testing. All right. So it's every uh, second it's going to pick up a random number. And if it just so happens to land on 10, we're just going to cease to exist. And there I go. I'm just gone. That's the first thing. You can make something happen when it lands on a random number. You can also use a math.random is basically anywhere. So you see how it says test that way at one? You can do math.random one to three. Oops, one, oh my god, one to three. So like, it just basically returns a random number between the two numbers you give it, the range. So now it will wait a random amount of time before deciding our fate. You can see it's not exactly consistent. And I'm gone now. You can also use this to like pick things like random items. So you know like item asylum, how you have three different classes of item. Well, if I were to go into server, okay, let's just let's delete this RNG script. If I go into uh, server storage, I make a folder and I just name it uh, gun. We duplicate that. We name the, ne the next folder uh, melee. And then the last folder, we'll just do healing. So you, you'll get a gun, a melee weapon, and a healing object. Now we can just put some tools. We're not going to actually make tools, but we'll just insert a tool. We'll name it whatever we want. So pistol, uh, shotgun, and I don't know, grenade launcher. And instead of melee, here we can just copy these tools, paste them into a uh, melee. So control C and just paste into, and I'll do bat hammer and I don't know door hit somebody with the door and for healing we can just copy those items paste them into healing and we'll just do burger taco pancake so now we have three folders with items inside of them so instead of starter uh, script service we can add a script and we'll just do here we can name it. We'll just item giver. We'll do game dot players dot player added connect function uh player. So when our player is added, like we join the game, any code in here will run. But I want it to run every time the character is added. So we can do player dot character added connect function character. Well, we could just do char. So every time I'm like. Every time my characters add to the game, whatever code in here will like. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you? Whatever codes in here will run. Sorry, I cannot speak. So I'll just do print high. So every time my characters added, it will print high. Meaning if I reset, we'll get a high. So now we just need to give a random item from each folder. So we can do local. Here we'll add the folders up here. So we'll do local gun folder equals game dot server storage dot gun get children. And then we'll just duplicate that. We'll paste it twice and we'll do melee folder. And then we'll just do melee. And last but not least, healing folder. And we'll do healing. So what guilt children does is it just like, so these are uh, children of the gun folder. So we're just telling this script 
that, hey, we want to get the folder, but we also want to get all the things that's inside of it. So like, there's all these items, so it's returning these. But like, if there was a pistol inside of a pistol, it would not see this one. So like, if you wanted to see that one, you do get Descendants. I'll make a proper tutorial about it in the future, but basically Get Descendants gets everything, Get Children gets what's on top. So like, it can get pistol, shotgun, grenade launcher, but it won't be able to get this pistol that's in there. Sorry, random tangent. Anyway, now all we have to do is local random gun equals, and then you do gun folder, and now we make, we add these uh, brackets, and we do math.random1, and then number gun folder. Then you just put clone at the end so that when it does take the gun out of this folder, it doesn't delete it, because then nobody else can have one. Now we just copy that script, we do random melee, and then we just take the name melee folder, replace, copy, paste, we do healing folder, we'll replace the uh, melee folder with healing folder, and we'll do random healing. Now we just need to give it to the player. That's really easy. We just do random gun dot parent equals player dot backpack. Then you can copy, paste this twice, do random melee and random healing. So now whenever you join, you have three items. So I have shotgun, hammer, taco. And if I reset, we have shotgun, door, pancake. Reset again, pistol, bat, pancake. So basically, I want to explain this a little bit more since I talked really fast. What we're doing here is we're just creating a variable and we're using these brackets to index what's inside of the gun folder. So we're going into the gun folder, we're looking through the children, and we're picking anything from one to the number of items that's in the gun folder. So like if you were to make this, here, let's look at the folder. Let me stop testing. Look in the folder, you can see one, two, three. I'm not sure which order is going to count it in. I'm not sure if it's going to count it down or up, but if you put three, it's either always going to be grenade launcher or it's always going to be pistol. So let's see if I do three for random gun. Yeah, it's pistol. So no matter what, it will always be the third item in that folder. If I keep resetting, it will just stay pistol. So we're picking an item anywhere from one which is a grenade launcher to the number of items that's in the folder. And since there's three, there's three. So like, I don't know if you put four, this would not work because there's no fourth item in that folder. But if you duplicated pistol and you did nail gun, then you press play. This will work now because there's four items in the folder. I got the nail gun first try. Reset. It will always be nail gun. So very easily you can make a simple game mode with this. So if we copy all of this and we do local function, give random items, we can paste all that code in there and then we can do well true do. So it will loop whatever code is in here infinitely. Also fun fact, if you run this without anything in there, it will crash your game. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Don't run this while there's nothing in there. All right, we can do give random items and test dot wait math dot random. And I'm gonna make the time really short for this uh, video. Like if you're actually making a game, don't make it this short. I'd be, you barely even get to use the items. But yeah, we'll give random items and then after either anywhere between one and seven seconds, it will remove the items and repeat. So we'll just do for I B in pairs, player dot backpack get children do if B is a item, I mean, no, if B is a tool, sorry, I'm not thinking. If B is a tool, then B destroy. So let's space it out, make it a little easier to read. And let's get rid of this ugliness. So it will give random items. It will wait uh, one to five seconds, I mean, one to seven seconds. And then it will loop through all of the items in your backpack. And if it's a tool, it will destroy it. And then it will immediately go back to top and give you new items. So what this will look like is if you play it, shotgun, hammer, oh, you see it's just shifting out my items at random times. So it's like a random, a randomly timed randomizer. That's a mouthful. 
Now, since it generates numbers, you can also do like colors for things. So you could just like, I don't know, we could put a script in this part and we could do local r equals math dot random uh, one to 255 for colors because it goes anywhere between one and 255. We can copy and we can paste that. We can do r d b. Then we could do script a uh, while true do actually we'll just do while task dot weight math dot random one to three two uh, and we can take this rgb put it inside of here so it will keep picking a new one otherwise if it's up here it will all like it'll pick one color and it will stay that way but if it's inside the if it's inside this uh, loop it will keep changing it so we could do script dot parent dot color Equals color three dot from RGB and then RGB. So you'll see that little part is like a disco part now. And now, like we can make everything random because it's just numbers. So like if we put a script inside of server script service, and you look inside game dot lighting, there's clock time. I was messing with this. It goes from like zero to like like twenty four or something. So you can do well. Ass dot wait math dot random let's stay true to our random nature we can do one to like three seconds we'll do game dot lighting dot clock time equals math dot random zero to 23. so now not only is that part going crazy but the sky is changing as well everything is changing everything is random and if you want to hate yourself more you can also just change the color correction but we can add a color correction and let's just change the tint so inside of this script where we're changing the parts color we'll also do game dot work uh lighting dot color correction dot tint color equals color three that from rgb rgb and let's put it back to 255 so we can get really bright colors and now we've done it we've made a game that is random absolutely hideous like those old Roblox party games where it's just nothing but various colored lighting and uh, old Kevin McLeod music. We did it. Isn't this what you wanted? You wanted randomness. This is life now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Embrace the unknown. Anyway, if you like this tutorial, actually, no. I'm going to leave it up to chance. I like randomness. Like this video! That was probably the worst outro I've ever recorded for a YouTube video.